You're up, buddy. You're up. Yeah, buddy. That's sick, dude. That's what you want to do because I'm going to be fucking hucking it. So I found on the way up the two local legends. If you don't know who these two guys are, this is Evan Wilcox and Jimmy Ertley, two local Niseko shredders. If there's anybody in the world who makes me want to try snowboarding again, it's these two. I'll leave their social media links in the description below. Alright, that's enough fanboying for now, back to the video. Max was out with a sore knee from the day before, and I started the day off late. I skipped my normal strawberry fields warm up and went straight to the pizza box for a solo mission to the peak. And that is where I bumped into these two. It's pretty rare to bump into these two during a season, due to their crazy schedules, so I thought I'd link up and go for a bit of a ride with them. You're up, buddy. You're up. Yeah, buddy. Fuck, I missed it. I wanted to feel. Oh, sorry, bro. Oh, good. That's sick, dude. Yeah. With the sun out, it was the perfect day to shoot some content for our social media. Okay. I'll probably. See you guys at the bottom. Ah, maybe I'll wait. Now was my time to get a rare shot of me not filmed from my point of view. I watched Jimmy go <laughs> first, spotted Evan, and picked my line out ready to go. Dropping! Well, that's certainly one way of doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've lost the ski. Yeah. A big thanks to Evan for sticking around and helping me find it. I was getting stressed out because I'd only just bought them and they cost me a lot of money. <laughs> I fucking hit a, tw hit a branch and my ski came off. Sorry, bro. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Oh, easily. I don't know what I was thinking trying to keep up with these guys on my warm up lap, but I have done worse things. Fuck, I'm sloppy. That was sick. That was so nice. That was nuts. Yeah. And the sun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I might, I might just do another one. Yeah. Jimmy was keen on a second lap, and I was determined to prove that I wasn't a complete kook halfway through my second season. So we headed back up again. Uh, you, wanna, you wanna go first? You got a camera. Well, straight through the middle. Maybe like a little scooch a little bit around and back right? Yeah. And then, I don't know, just fucking improvise.
shit, that was all right. Yeah, got a good little line there. Now that lap was much smoother. I was happy with that and it was late in the afternoon, so we decided to call it a day. Hell yeah, boys. Hell yeah. How's the fucking day? Yote. Everyone's lining up to do the peak. As you can actually see up there for once. Hope it's for to some ripper lines. So, I know where I'm gonna go, but we'll see. I met up in Hirafu with my friends Jay and Liv and decided to take them on a tour up to the peak. We hadn't had a day as clear as this since the start of January. Alright, um, up to you guys what you just want to do because I'm going to be fucking hucking it. How's that made? You! Yeah! <laughs> All right, we're right in this ridge, I reckon. Not bad, eh? It's safe to say that Jay was stoked with his first peak lap. We weren't even halfway down yet. You good? All right, see where that snowboarder is? That's where I'm heading. This is what skiing's all about for me. Exploring, finding new terrain, and sharing it with your friends. The powder's just the cherry on top. And then head on the left of the ridge. Not bad, eh? Come through here. only enough time to get a quick lap in before work, unfortunately this wonderful day had to be cut short. Oh. However with that one lap down from the peak I was more than satisfied. Fuck hard to believe that literally 20 minutes ago I was fucking hucking it down here like full pelt. I'll send you the video just in case you don't believe me. Thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. If you enjoy seeing Japan and powder skiing content, make sure to hit subscribe.